good. Actor Tom Chambers joins us now. Uh, also this morning, Mark Gosner is with us. He has suffered from non-Hodgkin's lymphoma uh, for the second time, actually, I believe now. Yes, unfortunately, yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So you'll be telling us uh, yeah. all about that. Tom, this is a demanding subject. I mean, we've seen the diagnosis there, so we haven't given you know, too, too much away. Um, how did you approach this storyline? Uh, well, it's uh, a terrifying honour, really, because on the one part, you've got this opportunity as an actor to go through so many extreme cycles. I think the I think most important thing is that no one deals in this situation the same way. And the writers, they want to make sure that they give you a whole varied approach. And as I was saying to Mark, that I feel like a complete fake, really, that I get to, I, I get to play it out and then leave and go home at the end of the day. And even though some of it's slightly psychosomatic and you think, oh, God, I actually feel slightly worse for it. You but look I know. <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping you'd be bald as well. Like, I, we were just saying about the charity. You did it for charity. And then I was hoping that uh, we'd look like the bouncers, the couple of heavies. But uh, You can do your best with that. What's the, what's the, what's the reality? of living with non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, and, and what is it? It's uh, lymphatic cancer, so it, uh, it's a uh, uh, haematology, sort of, it's bloodborne. Um, so um, I, I was diagnosed in 98. Um, was, uh, my GP sent me straight to the Royal Marsden, best place in the world to go. And, just found uh, a lump, didn't you? Just found a lump in my no neck. No other symptoms? No, no, not symptomatic at all, and uh, they biopsied that and found that I was stage three, which I think is oh, what so. your character's going to be. Um, and uh, I think the main thing is it, it just puts your life on hold. Mm. Uh, I think that sort of, you know, different people deal with the treatments differently depending on how fit and well and positive and you are, but... It, it's, I think it's the fact that it puts everything on hold. You can't go on holidays, you can't plan, you can't do any of those, you know, deal with any, any of those aspects. But well, that was ten years ago, wasn't it? Nine, nine, ten nine, years ago, yeah, you were first diagnosed. Yeah. Then you thought you were clear, because five years is the generally yeah, accepted amount of time, yeah. the, the measure. And then it came back again. Yeah, so it didn't come back quite so bad. It came back in just one area. Um, but it was still 10 by 7 centimetres, the, the tumour, right. which was, uh, you know, fairly large. And the only reason I knew it was there is that I had pain and I thought it was kidney stones, and that's what I hoped. Uh, but unfortunately, yeah, it had come back. So, so it's been zapped again with chemo and, and with yeah, radiation had, and yeah. stem cell treatment. Well. Yeah, which is what I had before. I mean, things have changed even in those eight years. They've sort of fine-tuned. But, uh, yeah, I had uh, conventional chemo, then, um, then high-dose chemo and a transplant, a stem cell transplant, and then I've had radiotherapy. Yeah. So, uh, and I finished that about three weeks ago. Your hair's back? Yeah, it's, yeah, it's taken a while. Yeah, it was completely gone in July, but it's... Uh, yeah. Tom's isn't. Well, yeah, I hope mine does. I mean, <laughs> I have to shave it with a big razor every morning, and it's... Oh, uh, the big it's razor! Of, oh. I know, it feels very weird. I feel like I have a kinship with Britney Spears now. Because <laughs> when, when you took yours off for charity, did you feel strange, the fact that you were taking it off prematurely? Well, well mine had already gone. It was the, the guys down at Lifeboat Station, uh, down at Rye, that, that shaved theirs to sort of... You know, right, yeah. to show some solidarity. People, people do that, like fathers, if their child is ill, then they, yeah. they quite in the sympathy vote. Because it is the strangest thing in the world. You get very different reactions everywhere you go. Yeah, especially, do you? What? Especially in supermarkets, I find. That, uh, you look quite hostile. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> until I start smiling again, yeah. yeah, yeah. I think that the, the most important thing is the fact that, with it being so uh, varied, there's, there's uh, so many positive sides to it. It's, 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 so much of it is in the mind, and they want... The writers have been very sensitive, you know, they're showing so many different aspects, you know, going off the rails to begin with that terrified horror and then kind of taking it on and the challenge of actually getting Well, I'm sure you can learn a lot this morning, just from... I, I know, well, we'll be screen. nattering away backstage, yeah. <laughs> yeah. The very best of luck to you. Thank you very and much. Continue. And, yeah. uh, you know, all our love to the uh, lifeguards, uh, the, the, the lifeboat crew yeah. down at Rye. I know that's where you work, so that's excellent. It, yeah. Thank you very much indeed. Okay. And, Tom, good to see you this morning. Yes, you too. Thank you very much indeed. Uh, you. More of help and advice uh, about non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. It's on our website, gm.tv. All right, the girlfriends arrived down under. We're talking. I'm a celebrity.